it's time. Your child has maxed out one of the limits of their rear facing seat and it's time to flip them forward facing. In this video, I'm gonna show you what you need to change from rear facing to forward facing and exactly how to install the seat. Here's a quick tip. When it comes time to uninstall your click tight, release the seat belt buckle first and then open the click tight panel. All right, a couple of things that we need to change now that we're moving this seat forward facing. I actually needed to leave that open because we've got to pull the anti-rebound bar out. Cannot use this forward facing. So we're gonna take that out. We're also going to get the top tether anchor out from its storage location. So it's back here. I'm just gonna pull it out. For all of our forward facing seats, gotta use a top tether. And you have to know which positions in your vehicle have a designated top tether anchor. I'll show you what that means in a minute. The other thing that we're gonna change is obviously the recline. So grab that recline lever and adjust it back into a forward facing recline that is allowed. Now it's time to install the seat. As I said, your forward facing harness car seats should always have the top tether in use. Find where the designated top tether anchor positions are in your vehicle. Not every vehicle seating position has a top tether anchor. That information is gonna be in your vehicle manual in the child passenger safety section. The other thing that you wanna check is exactly how the top tether is routed in relation to your vehicle headrest. So for this one, this Britax seat has a sort of V-shaped top tether and it goes this way around the vehicle headrest. For now, I'm just getting it in position. I'm not attaching or tightening it. I'm gonna do that at the very end. All right, I've already put the vehicle seat back in its most upright position. I'm gonna double check that the overhang is within the permitted amount, which obviously the entire car seat is sitting on the vehicle seat. But for this seat, if you do have a really short vehicle seat pan, then it can overhang up to three inches. Again, not an issue for this vehicle. So we've got the recline correct. We've checked the vehicle seat back. We've looked at the overhang and the top tether is ready to be connected when we're done. Now we're gonna install with the vehicle seat belt. All right, open the click tight panel by depressing on the little dimple in the circle, rotating it and pull that panel all the way up. Now here's something I want you to use extreme caution on on these seats because we see it as a mistake that happens often. There's this path here. This is the rear facing belt path. This is the forward facing belt path. That's where we need to attach the car seat in this direction. So grab your vehicle seat belt with this click tight panel raised. You're going to route the lap belt and shoulder belt portion of the vehicle seat belt. into these slots, just like this. Just kind of shimmy it in there, buckle it in. Now what you're looking for is that there are no twists in the shoulder or lap belt, that both are obviously routed here under the panel and just remove like any easy slack. You don't have to be crazy about pulling it tight because that's what this panel is gonna do for you. Push down on the click tight panel until it pops in place, which means the word click tight is now back to a horizontal position. And then we're gonna attach the top tether. To attach the top tether, you're gonna find the designated top tether anchor position in your vehicle. In this car, it's here, there's one over there, and there actually is one up here on the ceiling for a center seat installation. Be really careful that you don't just pick an arbitrary place to attach the top tether that can fit this kind of hook. For example, this is a cargo hook, and not a designated top tether anchor position. Attach it, and then you're gonna tighten it up, pull that slack out of there. Nothing crazy, just get it tight like that. Let's do the final test for tightness. So grab your seat right at the belt path where we attach that vehicle seat belt. 
it's not moving more than an inch in any direction, which means we have a tight, safe installation. Remember, harnessing is also critical to keeping your kids safe in their seat. So make sure you check out the other harnessing videos on our channel. If you found this video helpful, like, subscribe to the page, and drop any comments below with any questions that you may have about this seat, and we'll be happy to answer.